Hey everyone, Leroy here with the latest edition of the Coppers Update. It's hard to believe that I'm still here talking about it, but yes, COVID is still running rampant as evidenced by the additional 12 positive cases among our employee base just since my last update a few weeks back. Now our total vaccination count has increased by 54, which now puts us at 1,182 employees or 56% of our total population. So a big thank you goes out to those that joined the ranks. As a reminder to everyone in the U.S., the Pfizer vaccine recently received full FDA approval for those 16 and over, which should give everyone even greater confidence that the vaccine has achieved high standards for safety and effectiveness. Now, I've been told by several employees that full FDA approval is what they were waiting for before taking the step to vaccinate, so hopefully we'll see another bump as a result. However, for all those who continue to have lingering concerns, Please keep an eye out for an upcoming vaccine roundtable discussion that I'll be hosting for interested unvaccinated employees on September 16th. I truly want to hear your views and better understand constructive ways that we can work through the vaccination impasse as we continue to adapt our workplace policies for the future. Unfortunately, this has become a polarizing issue and I'm being faced with some difficult decisions that I'll have to make for the best interest of coppers. Before making those decisions, I really want to hear the voices of our unvaccinated team members so that I can gather their perspective. Speaking of the vaccine and its benefits, I want to thank NFL Hall of Famer and former Pittsburgh Steeler Jerome Bettis for filming a video encouraging vaccination for Copper's employees. You know, he actually attributes the vaccine to saving his life when he recently contracted COVID. Now, on a more personal note, my 21-year-old daughter tested positive for COVID just two days ago. And she is vaccinated. She only had mild symptoms and now feels perfectly fine. On the other hand, I heard from a good friend today that a close family member of hers that's unvaccinated is in serious condition in the ICU. Now, I know you're tired of me beating your ear about this, but it's nothing to play around with. And breakthrough cases are not evidence of the vaccine not working. The extremely low rate of serious outcomes for vaccinated individuals that contract COVID is evidence of the vaccine's effectiveness. The vastly different experiences of my daughter compared to my friend's family member is typical and in line with the stories that I hear from health professionals. Anyway, please check out what Jerome Bettis has to say about his COVID experience and the benefits of being vaccinated on employee news or a Marlin board at your location. In an effort to understand where we are as an organization in regards to establishing an inclusive environment for our employees, We've begun rolling out an inclusion survey across various locations to determine a benchmark of where we currently stand. Now, surveys have already been conducted at Stickney and Somerville, with Pittsburgh, Harmerville, and Griffin queued up next, and others to follow at various points afterward. The survey, which takes only two minutes to complete, includes eight questions, plus the opportunity to offer suggestions for improvement. All responses will be anonymous so that everyone can feel comfortable making their voice heard. You know, research shows that highly inclusive organizations drive greater employee engagement, which leads to increased profits, greater innovation, and lower employee turnover rates, which leads inclusive organizations to consistently outperform non-inclusive companies. This is your opportunity to let us know how we can help enhance mutual trust, create a greater sense of belonging, and make coppers a better place to work for everyone. The Zero Harm team recently put out a new iShare challenge related to injury prevention. You know, so far in 2021, 47% of our workplace injuries were sprains or strains, mostly to the upper body, and 40% were cuts, bruises, and fractures. We're seeking your help finding new ways to prevent these kinds of injuries, so I encourage you to submit any ideas you may have via iShare. Prizes will be awarded to three winners in each category, starting with $500 for first place, so please, Log on and give us your best ideas to create a safer workplace. I'm happy to share that our Link Parents Employee Resource Group has some exciting programs planned for the remainder of 2021, starting just a little later this month. The group will be hosting two virtual learning sessions about the college application process, which will be facilitated by experts at Robert Morris University. The first session will be focused on college search strategies and navigating the college application process, well, the second session will be focused on college affordability and financial aid. Additionally, the team is organizing a series of events related to social media education, with the first one set to take place in October. Stay tuned for more information in the coming weeks. Here in the U.S., we'll be celebrating Labor Day on Monday, a day to honor the contributions and achievements of America's workforce. So in that spirit, this week I'm sending a hats off to all of our Coppers employees around the world. 
My sincere thanks goes out to you for the effort you put in day in and day out to help provide essential goods and services to our world and to keep our company on the path to success. Hope everyone has a great weekend and continues to stay safe and stay strong.